Hurricane Kenneth in the Eastern Pacific Basin is the strongest so late in the season. It's a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 145 miles an hour. The Atlantic system doesn't look like it's going to become tropical. I'm acting with the dot-com meteorologist Dan Gutlowski at Tropical Weather Center. Here's an image of uh, satellite image of Kenneth. Again, this is a full-blown uh, Category 4 hurricane. You can see it has a nice uh, eye on the storm. Uh, here's an, uh, a visible satellite image of the storm taken uh, during the early, uh, uh, during the morning hours of, uh, of Tuesday here. And again, you notice that it again has this V-shape or funnel type shape to the eye. We call it the stadium effect. That's very typical of a very intense hurricane, classic uh, visual, uh, visual of, the, of the hurricane itself. Here's an infrared satellite of the same uh, hurricane. Again, you can see it uh, almost has what appears to be a double eye wall structure, so uh, it probably has peaked on its intensity uh, as far as hurricane uh, computer models, where, where is this thing going to go? The consensus of the models takes it this way, does not take it up this way. There's a couple of models take it up through here, but we're discounting those. Even if it does go up into here, it'll be going up into colder waters, so it will be no threat to land whatsoever. Even the moisture from the system will stay way out, out across this area. A little bit of moisture might get caught up in an upper level trough coming into the southwest U.S. in a few days, but for the most part, the whole thing's moving uh, to the west end. What about our Atlantic system? Well, again, this looks like a classic winter-type storm system. Again, uh, dry air wrapping around into the system. No coherent uh, circular uh, area of uh, thunderstorms wrapping around the center. Uh, so we don't believe this will become a, a tropical system as per se. But certainly uh, it's producing gale force winds right now way out, of, out the, over the open waters of the Atlantic. So ships at sea certainly have to worry about this. Uh, the Azores are located right through here. Those are the only places in the land that might see some gusty winds and some heavier rain from the system, but by far this is no threat to any big landmass whatsoever. That's it from the tropics. I'm AccuWeather.com meteorologist Dan Kutlowski.